As you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the video, you dig? It's your boy Joe back at it again, showing you four loops, you dig? All right. So, very simple. Okay. So, what's a for loop? A for loop is just pretty much, or even a loop is just pretty much repeating something, something that you don't want to repeat constantly, right? So, like, let's say you have a list. You don't want to have to print out console log, Honda, Benz, BMW, for each one at a time, right? So, instead of you having to do it, every, you know, repeat it like 20 times, you just do it one time and then the for loop does it for you. So, like, let's say an example. Uh, pretty much, you start with this. You have an initial expression, a condition, and an increment of the expression. So, pretty much, you're saying, okay, we start with this. This is how you write a for loop. You say for, and then you say i equals zero, and then you say i is less than the car's length. There's four cars here. Remember, cars, um, what is it, arrays, they start with a zero, right? So it goes zero, one, two, three, all right? And then from there, you basically have what you call an increment expression, which is you're saying i plus one. So every time that it loops, it goes from zero, and then it adds one, it goes to one, now one becomes two, and then you add another one, then two becomes three, and then it stops because that's already four numbers, all right? So pretty much you're going to see what happens. It goes Honda, Benz, BMW, and four. So what it's doing is printing out each one, one at a time, right? Now, let's say we go, we just want to see the I. Right now, it's going to show you the index. So this was printing. So it's, it's running the loop, and it's saying, okay, it goes one by one. So it goes zero, one, two, three. And remember, it's zero, one, two, three. So that's a loop, right? All right. Now, that's a for loop. That's the easiest one. All right. Then you have the while loop. Okay, all right. So this is the same concept. So what I'm saying, while i is less than cos on that length, which is i is less than four, run this loop. So what I'm saying, okay, it goes zero, one, two, three. All right now, I could have went in and, and done something like you know, like this twenty, and it's gonna go for each one it's gonna print it out see what's happening there or I could done I could have done a hundred you know so then it's gonna print out every single number from zero to one hundred right all right now you guys got that one that's the while loop that's super easy too all right now let's do a do while loop so pretty much it's saying do console log i and then increment it by one now remember that i is zero right so what it's saying do console log i and then add a one to the i every time right so and then it says keep doing this while i is less than car length which is four right so let's see what happens it prints it out you see or we could have done something like this. Cause. See? Print it out. See what I'm saying? It's super easy. You know? Now, let's say for objects, right? Let's say you wanted to print out. You have an array, right? An array that has objects inside of them, right? So, you could do something like a for in loop. Where... It basically loops through the property. So what is the property? This, right? So let's say an example. We're gonna go one by one so you don't get lost. Okay, right now it's basically looping through each one car's object. There's three car objects here. So it's like, okay, one object here, one object here, and one object here, right? So there's three. 
So it's basically going in. So it's saying, okay, inside a car, a car objects, there's three, three objects. So basically, print out the index of each one. So then that's what happens here. It basically, prints it out for you. So it goes zero, one, two. All right. Now, let's say we want to print out the car's objects' names. It's not going to do that because right now what it's printing is the object remember that right now that's what's inside of each each property inside of the, the array right now let's say for the other one if we wanted to print out the name we have to do cars object and then put the index and then do a dot name and then it's gonna print it out Honda Benz BMW right now that was the four in Remember the what you gotta remember about this is just pretty much it starts with the index. Remember that I is always gonna be the index of whatever you know how many uh, objects are inside the array, right? So let's say for this, this actually giving you the value. So let's say for for of loop, all right. This instead of like this one, this one was giving you the index of it. You remember that this one, when you put uh, you know, you console log i is going to give you the object itself. So instead of you having to write cars object and then put in the index for it, it's going to give you the index or the, the i is already the object itself. Alrighty, okay. So let's say we wanted to print out the name, all we do is i.name. And it prints it out. All right. Try to make this super short, super quick. I mean, if you don't get this, man, I don't know what to tell you, man. Like this is so super easy. Now, if you need to go back into, you know, for the video, rewind it, do whatever you gotta do. Trust me, this is like super easy. Remember that. It's not difficult. JavaScript is not difficult at all. Remember that for loops is like this. All right. And all you got to remember this uh, initial expression. This could have been whatever, any other number. You could have changed it to any other number. And basically say, okay, i equals zero. As long as it's less than whatever number you decide to put here. Is going to always add a i on um, another number to the i. So if it was twenty, then here on once the loop goes through, it's gonna become twenty one, and then if it keeps going, it's gonna go twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Super simple, man. Any questions? Let me know. And that's it. All right, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you show some love. I'm doing this shit for you guys, man. This is super quick. If you can't get this, let me know and I'll break it down to you, you know, in fucking in person, right? All right, guys. I'll see you later.